proceed now so as we know in last class uh, we discussed uh, so many things like uh, unit vectors orthogonal unit vector and all so now i have taught you the cartesian form of vector i hope you all remember cartesian form of vector which we studied in the last class all of you yes please so we know the cartesian form of vector so what is the formula for cartesian form of vector net force is equals to everybody so we have been found that f is uh, f vector is equals to so x direction i cap y direction f y j cap plus z direction yeah. f z k cap okay. yes or no yeah. so the cartesian form of vector if you have taken for example only two directions x axis and as well as y axis if you want you can take it uh, for example now between that the force is acting perpendicularly to us that so that is what it is uh, let me take vector a so now if you have taken here so what is the x axis now this is what ax and this is what will become what everybody it will become oh. a so if you want to find the now oh. vector a so vector a is equals to addition of two things that is what ax plus another one oh. is ay so now if you want to yeah, find of course direction also if you want to find the direction then how it will comes so we all know we already studied ax is a magnitude ax is the magnitude and direction now it is what direction x direction so x direction means what will come here ax i cap plus cap. this is ay everybody j cap ay j cap now oh, if you want to find the magnitude what you have to do we have to find the mod so mod a is equals to root of what will become everybody Ax square plus y. That is for two dimensions. Two dimensions. So now, if you want for three dimensions, we all knows that. So a vector y is equals to. If it is a three dimensions, what will come? Y x i cap plus everybody. Y y j cap plus next. Y z k cap. Y z j cap. Y z k cap. Okay. So that is what. So now, if you want to find magnitude, so mod a is equals to root of what will come? Everybody, a x square plus a y square plus a z square. So that is what is the magnitude it will come. So now, let us see. Now today's class will find the uh, unit vector in the direction of uh, like a unit vector of direction of a given magnitude. So a given vector and uh, some questions we will solve and as well as addition of three vectors and we will end up the today's class. So now let us see now. Let write the first question, all of you. So on yesterday I have taught you the question also. If you want to find the direction, I cap unit unit vector. What is the formula? Unit vector is equals what is the formula? So vector a divided by magnitude of vector is it right or wrong? All of you, do you remember this formula? Yeah. Yes, that is what. So write it first question. So find a unit vector. This is the formula for calculating unit vector. Unit vector. In the direction, in the direction of given vector is equals to three i cap plus four j cap. So that is what it is. So we have to find it. So we all knows unit vector a. Sorry, a vector a is equals to. It is a combination of two things. What is that? Magnitude into everybody. Magnitude into what? Direction. Is it right or wrong? So they are asking unit vector. Unit vector only yeah. always will gives you what? Unit vector always gives you. What will gives you unit vector only direction. useful to find what all of you it is used to find the direction. direction. Yeah, so that is what. So a cap is equals to vector a divided by magnitude of a. So what is a vector a? Three i cap plus let's ponder four j cap divided by magnitude of this one. So what is the magnitude of this one formula? This is a x and this is what everybody respond a y. So which is equals to y. 3 square plus 4 square. Is it yes or no? That is what? Because mod a is equals to root of ax square plus everybody a y square. So that's all. Y square. Um, so 3 i cap plus 4 j cap divided by how much it will come? 3 square 9, 4 square 16. So which is equals to 3 i cap plus 4 j cap divided by root 25. So 25 means how much? Ra? Yes, please. Uh, five. five. So three i cap divided five. by five plus four j cap divided by five. So that is what the direction is. It okay, everybody? Clear? Understand, brothers? Rudreswar? 
Sir, sorry, I have to remember. Clear? So that is next. Find the unit vector in the direction of. Find the unit vector in the direction of. Find the unit vector in the direction of. First, in the direction of i cap plus j cap. That's all. So find it fastly. So what is the formula, everybody? So the given one is a by a vector. Vector a is equals to one i cap plus one j cap. Is it right or wrong? Everybody, accept it or not? So yeah. they are asking unit vector. So unit vector means vector a divided by mod of a. Understanding magnitude. So vector yeah. a is i cap plus j cap, and this one what will come? One square plus. Everybody, one square. One square plus uh -huh. one square. So i cap plus j cap divided by one square plus one square. How much ra? Root two. So what is the direction unit vector? I cap divided by root two plus. Everybody. J, j cap divided by root two. That's all. Next. Next find for i minus j. I cap minus j cap. So again here also the given unit the given vector is. 1 i cap minus 1 j cap. So again the same thing. Find it a unit vector. Unit vector is equals to what will come? Given vector divided by magnitude of a, which is equals to j cap minus j cap divided by 1 square minus, oh, sorry, plus minus 1 square. Both are same only. So i cap minus j cap divided by what will come? Everybody. i cap minus j cap, which is equals to what? Root 2. So what is the answer? I cap divided by root 2 minus everyone. Yes, please. J cap divided, J cap by, divided by root 2. That's all. Okay. Understand, Rudreshwa? Leah? All of you? Hello, Sudama? Next. Third one. Yes, sir. Yeah, find it fastly. I cap, J cap plus K cap. That is what it is. So, that is what the vector. So, I cap, 1 I cap plus... 1j cap plus 1k cap. So this is what? Find it fastly and tell me fast answers. Make it quick. What will happen? So unit vector is equals to given vector divided by magnitude of it. So i cap plus speak j cap plus k cap divided by root of root 3. 1 square plus 1 square plus 1 square. Root so which is equals to i cap plus root. yeah j cap plus k cap Divided by root 3, which is equals to what will come? I cap divided by root 3 plus everybody. J cap divided by root 3 plus. I cap by root 3 plus. That is what it is. Next. Next one. I cap plus J cap minus 2K cap. So that is what it is. So start doing everybody. Take a time, one minute time and tell me. Let me know fastly. Let me see who is all first. I cap by 2 plus J cap by 2 plus um, K. Be yes. very careful, Rudreswa. I cap by 2 or root 6 R. Verify. Brothers? Yes, sir. Root 6 R. I then, cap by root 6. Then you, you made mistake, correct? Only one time chance only. You have to be very careful. That's what I'm saying. Presence of mind is always important. Answer, please, others. What is your I final? cap minus 2k by root 6. Huh? What am I? Others? I cap plus j cap minus 2k by root 6. Uh, very good. So we want to find it. So it's very simple only. So they have given a. Given vector is i cap plus j cap minus 2k. So now we want unit vector. So unit vector means what will come? Everybody. Respond. Unit vector is equals to given vector divided by magnitude of it. So given mm -hmm. vector is i cap plus j cap minus 2 cap 2k divided by 2k cap divided by 1 square plus 1 square plus minus 2 whole square. So which is equal so much ra? i cap plus j cap minus 2k cap divided by root 6. Is it right or wrong? Vibreshwa? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
understood ma all of you so now if i write yes, it sir. then what will happen yes, sir. i cap divided by root 6 plus j cap divided by root 6 minus 2k cap divided by root 6 sita solved us with a winning videos also you completed or not i want to know solving or not asvita okay so finish it fastly okay guys completed yes sir hmm. then next right a vector of magnitude 10 units a vector of magnitude next question a vector of magnitude 10 units in direction of in direction of 3 3i 3i cap plus 4j cap is option a okay option a 5 calculate the required vector that's what it is 5i cap plus 6j cap option b 8i cap plus 6j cap option c 6i cap plus 8j cap and option d 4i cap plus 3j cap sir yeah so this is what they are giving so observe very carefully now they are asking uh direction they are asking units in direction of we want to find the direction so it's very simple so again you remember that so what is the given vector all of you respond yes please now if you notice it so they are asking us a vector of magnitude 10 units in direction of direction of 3i 3i cap plus 4j cap is they are asking so they have given two things guys can you tell me what they have given first magnitude they have given so let me take mod a so mod a is equal to how much they have given ra 10 units and they have given direction mm -hmm. So what is the direction given? Everybody, direction is equal to so how much? Ra three i cap. Three i cap plus four j cap. Now they are asking what is the vector. So we have to find the required vector. So let me take the required vector. So to get this direction and as well as this magnitude, we want to find the required vector. What is that? So let me take that required vector is equal to r. R you can take a. Okay. So a wa a uh, above arrow. Now tell me what is the formula? We all knows required vector a is equals to what is the formula? Everybody, we all knows, ra. What is the formula? Mod a into Maudie. yes. Mod a vector. Clear, ra. Understood, ra. Yes. So we all knows mod ten into what is the unit vector? Unit vector direction how much, ra? We found it already. Yes. Respond, all of you. Yes, something that is what three i cap plus four j cap. Now, four j cap. Four j cap. Yeah. So observe very carefully. So that is the required direction. Now they are asking us find the the given. They are asking see a vector of magnitude ten units in direction of three i cap plus four four j cap is they are asking. So what direction we have to find it in direction of this is the given vector. So if I have taken this is the given vector. Actually, it is not the direction. We have to find the direction. So this is the given vector. So I have given a uh, given vector. I have given and the magnitude I have given. So can you find the vector, everybody? So what is the direction unit vector? So we have to find that. So required vector to maintain this uh, direction, we want to find it. So what is the required vector? Three i cap plus everybody. Three i cap plus four j cap. We want to find this one. So we all knows the formula, of course, the given magnitude. But we can find the magnitude. So what is the magnitude we can find? The given vector is this one. What is the magnitude of this one? So given vector is three i cap plus how much? Four j cap. Clear? Four j cap. So then, what is the magnitude of this vector? Everybody, root of three square plus three square plus four, which is equals to 
9 plus 25, sorry, 9 plus 16. So, which is equal to how much? Ra? Root 25. Which is equal to how much? 25. All of you. 5. Five. Let us find the direction at this point. So, which is a, a cap is equal to, we all know, given vector divided by magnitude of the vector. So, what is the given vector? 3i cap plus 4i, 4j cap divided by, what is the magnitude we got it? We got it already magnitude, which is equal to 5. So, what is that? 3i cap. 3i cap divided by 5. Mm -hmm. Understanding, Ra? Plus four. Yes, sir, no. Okay. All of you. 3i cap divided by 5 plus respond. 4j cap, cap, cap divided by 5. That is what it is. So now, so we all know this is what the this is what the a, a direction. What is the given magnitude? All of you respond. What is the given magnitude? Everybody. Given magnitude is how much, Ra? Ten. Yes, please. Given magnitude ten. How much, Amma? 10. So, ten. this is the A cap. And if you multiply the magnitude, magnitude into this direction is A cap. So, if you multiply these two, we will get the what? The original vector. Is it right or wrong? All of you? Yes, yes please. Yes, yeah, that is what you have to remember. So, this you remember. This is the given direction of vector. So, if I find it A cap from that, then I will get this is the A cap. And what is the given magnitude, everybody? Given magnitude is how much? 10. Understanding? So 10, 10 into A cap is 3 I, 3 I cap divided by 5 plus 4 J cap divided by 5. So make it everybody and tell me what is the answer. So this will become 10 into 3 by 5 I cap plus this is 10 into 4 by 5 J cap. So what is the required, required vector which is equals to? Everybody, 5 ones are 5 twos are, which is equals to how five much? Cap plus. 5 cap plus 5 eight ones are, cap. 5 twos are, which is equals to 8 j cap. So, this is the required vector to maintain the magnitude of 10. So, what is the answer? 6 i cap plus C. Option C. So, once again, I will explain. Listen, a vector of magnitude is 10 in the direction of 3 i cap plus 4 j cap is dash they are asking. So now, if you notice the given the given vector here in the question is 3i cap plus 4j cap. So with the help of that, we can find the direction. Understanding? So if you find the direction, then we know that what the given magnitude is uh, 10. So then the required vector is equals to, required vector is equals to if you find it. So we all know required vector is equals to product of magnitude into direction. So if I do that, I will get the required vector. How much it is? 6 i cap plus, everybody, 6 i cap plus, 8, 8 j cap. cap, okay. Oh. So, this is what the, the vector, which is, uh, let me take a, a. So, to maintain the magnitude 10 and the direction is 3 i j, 3 i cap plus 4 j cap is 6 i, I cap plus 8 j cap. So, that is what you have to remember. Is it okay, everybody? Understood, Rudreswar? Clear? Yeah. yeah. So, that is what you have to make it. Now, so let me take now three vectors, how to add it. First, we'll uh, see that addition of three vectors. This is very, very important. So this is only we are going to study in our today's class. So first, if I notice it, I'll give you three vectors. Vector A is 2i cap plus 4j cap plus 3k cap. Next, vector B is 3i cap plus 2j cap minus k cap. And vector C is equals to 2i cap minus 4j cap minus 7k cap. So this is what it is. So now if I add these three vectors, can you tell me what is the result and will come? A vector plus B vectors plus C vector. What will come? Everybody. 2, 3, so 5, five, five two. How much it is? All of you? 7i cap. I have I cap. Next, 2j cap. Minus 4, minus 4, plus 4 will get cancelled. What will come? Everybody. Plus cap. 2j cap. Understand? Next one. My, minus one. 5. Minus, minus 1 plus minus 7. Minus 8 plus 3. How much it is? Minus, minus 5. 5. This five. is how okay. we basically will add the mm -hmm. normally any equations and all we people will add like this only. Now, so that is what we will discuss how to add these vectors and how to find it and all. So this is very, very important. So addition of vectors you have to do like this. Now, so addition of three vectors if I have given so, how to find it? So, let us discuss all of you. So, please keep heading. This is the most important one. 
very very important so so many times the question is to come so addition of how many vectors all of you addition of three vectors three. okay so very important one so let us see that now i will give you the first vectors all of you remember i will give you totally three vectors okay so let me draw normally with the diagram so that you all understand so first all of you draw plus symbol and three vectors i will give you a b c this is the first vector sorry this is the line okay now let me draw three vectors addition of three vectors we have to study now so first vector i am going to draw now addition of three vectors draw so this is the first vector all of you remember that this is not new thing is very familiar thing for us first vector so let me make the color now okay now next second vector okay clear ah everybody and another vector is yes, a third vector okay okay guys everybody understood ah all of you so this yes, is the three vectors okay now i am giving that so a vector a is equals to 10 magnitude so a vector is equals to 10 next b vector is equals to, yesterday we have done c vector is equals to also 10 and b vector if you have noticed it 2 root 2 so that is what vector b is 2 root 2 i have given so now i want to find the components x axis and y axis let me take this angle is 37 we all know fam famous triangles and this angle is 53 okay and this angle is 45 so now for everything for every vector can you tell me the x axis and y axis fastly let me see who will say first i'll take the different pen and i'll say first two vectors tell me what is the what is the vectors for x axis and y axis this triangle 37 triangle so we are very familiar what what is that x axis cos yes please what is that 3 4 5 so what is the angle here respond 37 so now so x axis what will come out of this one here 10 10 cos, cos theta, theta. clear yes or no yes sir next here what will come this 10 sin 10, 37 37 next here theta is here so theta is here means here what will come 2 root this is minus x this is plus x this is plus y and down is what will come minus y so this is what will become 2 root 2 cos, cos 45. 45 and here 45. what will come 2 root 2 sin 45, 45. clear Adosh, Rudreshwa, next for this one for this one here will come how much it will come 10 cos 53 10 cos 53 and here what will come 10 sin 53. Okay, wow. so this is what. Now we want to find okay. first. So we found AX, BX and CX. Same way, AY, BY. Next one, what we found? Everybody, BY. Okay, now I want to find the resultant. That is what addition. So resultant is equals to, for example, X-axis. RX is equals to, what will come ra? AX plus, respond. BX plus CX and the resultant y direction what will come everybody ay plus ay plus ay plus so this is only we have to find it so we start now everybody if you find the values it is over first first component ax and ay we will find it so ax and ay what is the triangle everybody respond 37 triangle is it sr now everybody so what is the 37 triangle 3 4 and here what will come 5 so first ax ax what draw you tell me ax what 10 cos 37 10 into we all know cos 37 means what 4 by 5 so which is equal so much now? plus eta minus eta plus 8 plus 8 understand laksha this is plus x this is plus x minus x minus y plus y clear so plus 8 next ay ay is equals to what everybody respond ay is equals to 10 sin 37 which is equals to 10 into how much ra 3 by 5 so which is equal so much Everybody, plus 6. Correct. 
Yes or no? Yes, sir. All of you because plus, plus, plus y direction. Yes, right or wrong? Everybody, that is what? Okay? Yes, so sir. This is plus x. Next, plus x direction. Plus x direction. Yes, sir. And this is what is, guys? Plus y. Everybody, plus y direction. Next, bx and by find it. Everybody, bx is equals to what? 2 root 2. Respond, ra cos 45. So, 2 root yes. 2, cos 45 value, 1 by root 2. Root 2, root 2 will get cancelled, which is equals to now, bx equals to, bx equals to 2, but it is minus x direction. Minus, minus, minus two. Two. Everybody respond. Minus. minus. Next, by, by is equals to 2 root 2, sin 45. So, 2 root 2, sin 45, how much ra? Sin 45 and cos 45, same value. How much is the answer? One, one by two. two. Ah, one by two. One so by two. one by one by two. One by root two. Ah, brothers. One by root. One by root. Two. One by root. Sign forty five. Ah, check it. How much ma? One by root. Two. One by root. One by root. Two. Two. Ah. One by root only. Sir. One by root two. Now it is plus two. Ah, minus two. Ah, plus two. Why? Positive y direction. Ah, negative y direction. Ah. Positive. Way. Positive y direction. Clear? Ah? Next. Same way. Find it to cx. cx and cy. Fastly. Everybody. cx equals to 10 cos 53. And t cy is equal to 10 sin 53. So we all know this is also famous triangle. What is the triangle, Mr. Rishi? Famous triangle. 53 means what is the angle will come? Base is 3. Side is 4. And here is 5. Four, five. Okay, Cx equals to what? Fastly. 10 into 3 by 5 or 5 by 3? 3, uh, 3 by 5. 3 by 5. So plus x or uh, minus x? Uh, plus x. Next, uh, cy. Okay. Downward direction. 10 into 4 by 5. 10 into 4 by 5. How much? Amma? Cy eight. is equals to minus 8. Minus, minus y direction. Minus right or wrong? I love you. That's all. Yes, then find the resultant rx. So rx equals to, we all know the formula. ax plus bx plus Everybody, ax yeah. plus bx plus cx. Yeah. Okay, very, very important. So, yeah. ax value how much? Check the notebook and tell me. 8 plus bx yeah. value minus 2 plus cx yeah. value how much? cx value yeah. 6. <laughs> Correct? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yeah, that is what. So, which is equals to how much? 8, 2 will go means 12. 6, 6, 12. So, rx 12. which equals how much? Ra? R x direction 12. is equal to how 12. much? 12. Same way. R y. So R y you find it. R y how much ra? A y plus B y plus B y. So which is equal to how much? 6 plus 2 minus 8. Is it right or wrong? Verify the answers. 6 Zero. plus 2 minus 8. So which is equal to Zero. R y equals how much ma? 0. 0. Okay. Zero. Now can you tell me what is the resultant? Resultant vector R is equal to how much ra? R x plus which is equal to how much? 12. Y cap plus 12. J cap. So finally, answer is how much? What is the answer finally? 12. Yes, please. 12. 12. 12 I cap. That is what? So that is the resultant vector. So resultant vector is acting in which direction? X direction. Clear? Yeah. That is what you have to remember. Understand the dress for how to add three actors? Very, very important. That is the reason. Okay, all of you, yes, sir. please respond. That is what now. Yes, so, if you understand this question, now a few things I'll say you, then uh, we'll see that. So, all of you remember, note be very, very careful these things. So, Rx resultant vector in x direction is always sum of if three vectors is there ax plus ay plus next one, what sorry, ax plus bx, bx plus what will come cx next. R y is equal to what will come? A y plus B y plus C y. A y plus B y plus C y. What will come? R x i cap plus R x R y. Okay, plus R y. R y k cap. Clear? R y k cap. Clear? So that is what. So if it is a triangle, for example, if it is a right angle triangle. Then this is the R Y and this is the what actually everybody R respond R R X okay yeah. so if I'll represent in the graph let me take this is R Y 
and this is the Rx. So we all know the resultant force will act between them. Okay. Ah, Rz and K cap only. K cap. So here Rz. Sorry. This is Rz K cap. Okay, guys. Everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, that is what. So Rz K cap. Okay. So that is what you have to remember it. So, but anyhow, sorry, I hear a small mistake. Rah. So Rx, uh, okay, you find it and you can make it. So we can find Cx, uh, Ax, Bx and Cx and Ay, By and Cy. We can find the resultant. So only two directions, Rx direction and Rz direction. So, but here we have been made it for Rz also. So Rz won't be coming. Only we are making x direction and as well as what direction? This is. All of you. Y. y direction. Okay. So that is what you have to remember. So here what will come? This won't come. Only what will come? Rx i cap plus Rx Ry. Okay. So that is what you have to remember. Now I am representing Rx and Ry. Now if you notice it, this is the resultant vector. So if I extended it towards the x-axis and towards to the y-axis. Now this is Ry means. Then this is also will become how much? Everybody. All of you, how much ra? that is also will become R. Ry. Understanding? And this is x axis, that is what Rx. So now, if you notice it, this is x axis and this is the what axis, everybody? Y axis. Clear? Now, if I imagine x axis, yes. we all know so x axis, this is the we used to represent something symbol. Anybody can tell me angle which represent with what? All of you, alpha. Yes or no? Remember, da, everybody? Clear? Ra? Yes. So, yeah, alpha and above one will represent with what angle? Beta. Beta. Okay. So now, if you want to find the tan alpha, so all of you remember formula. Tan formula is what? Check this formula and tell me. Tan, tan, tan formula. Tan theta is equals to what? Everybody respond. Tan theta is equals to. I want to know. This is called as adjacent and this is the base. What is the formula? Or tan theta formula. R y. I don't want that normal formula. Tell me, tan theta is equal to what? Perpendicular by base. Ah, perpendicular. Perpendicular divided by base or opposite by base. So opposite means what? R y divided by base means what? R x. So this is the formula for find the tan alpha or alpha. So we have to use this formula. And I want to find the magnitude of resultant vector. How to find the magnitude of resultant vector? Everybody, this is very very important. We all knows. Mod. So mod is equal to what will come ra? All of you. Root over it. Rx. Rx. Rx square plus next one. Rx square. square. So this is for finding the resultant magnitude. Okay. So this is all about how to add the three vectors and as well as how to find the alpha and as well as the resultant magnitude. So please kindly solve this all the things. If you have anybody having anything doubt, you can ask me. So this is very, very important addition of three vectors. Have you all understand how to add the three vectors? Nothing. Yesterday's class, we found yes, how to find the components in x-axis and y-axis. All of you. All of you. So wherever theta will come, that base, what will become? Suppose we all know. If here is the theta will come, if this is the theta, here what will come? Suppose this is a A. Then here what will come? Here A cos theta and here what will come? A sin theta. If, sin theta. Yeah, if here is the theta is there, then here what will come? Everybody. Here A cos theta and here what will come? Everybody. A sin theta. Okay. If you remember this, then it is very simple. So now here is the theta is coming. So that is why this is cos theta. This is sin theta. Now here is the theta is coming. So this is uh, cos theta and this is the sin theta. Now for this one, here is the theta is coming. So this is cos theta and this is sin theta. Is it right or wrong? Is it easy or not? Yesterday also we have done. Okay. Is it right or wrong? Everybody. So that is what. So this yeah. is how how to add the addition of three vectors, how to add it and how to find it. So first of all, if you want to add the addition of three vectors, we have to add Ax, we have to calculate Ax, Bx and Cx and as well as uh, y direction, Ay, By and Cy and then just we find the resultant and the resultant vector is equals to, what is happening? Resultant vector, R is equals to, everybody, R is equals to what we got it? Rxi plus Ry, j okay so that is what if you want to find the magnitude just you find the mod of this one so you'll get root over rx square plus r y square and for this one r y and r x if you want to find the angle in x axis what is the angle so then tan alpha is equals to tan theta formula 
opposite divided by base or perpendicular we can say perpendicular divided by base so perpendicular is r y and base is what what is this base base is equal to how much guys base is equals to r x so that's all so tan alpha is equals to r y by r x so this is what about it then let it be till here you all of you revise very well and then tomorrow's class we are going to study the most important concept guarantee uh, neat and je also they'll ask the fundamental questions based upon this because they will test the concept only so now concept can you are you, are you all able to understand or not mr pradosh everything clear how to add three vectors sir yes so now all of you remember if you make it then for example here you can add it suppose if it is rz will come z axis then what, what rz will come here anybody can tell me rz is equals to what will come az plus suppose if it is of course is it possible to represent three dimensions any any vectors only two dimensions correct everybody clear yes, for example x is not there only y and z is there then what will come everybody here resultant vector what will come everyone so resultant vector what will come all of you ry j cap plus rz 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 k cap everybody R, rz k cap understand dudreswa yes. For example, only K and uh, K, that is what? Only uh, Z direction and X direction is there. Then what will come resultant? Resultant is equals to, everybody, R I J R X R X I cap plus R Z K cap. Understand R Z K cap? Always two directions. Yeah. All of you? Sir. Because resultant Y, Y is a three means, resultant vector is always opposite to these two, these two things. That is the reason. So always you have to remember. So even next two classes we'll get it. Now if I take one vector is acting y direction, another vector is acting x direction. Can you tell me what is the resultant vector act between them? It is definitely in what direction? Inwards or upwards? Definitely. It will be acting what direction, Ra? Resultant vector. Third direction only. That is what we used to call z action. Yes or no? Everybody? Yes. yes. So always what is the angle between any three directions?